name's Jen. I'm a generation technician here at the Clyde Dam. I'm a registered electrician and I love my job. What I want to do today is take you on a road trip around New Zealand. We're going to go to some other contact energy sites and I'll introduce you to some other young techies and tradies that are just as passionate about what they're doing as I am. My name is Rochelle Mayer and I'm a mechanical engineer uh, for Contact Energy and I work here at the Tarapa Power Station. Uh, we provide steam to Fonterra and we also produce electricity for uh, the Waikato region as well as to Fonterra as well. I keep everything running. Hey, I'm Javen Stein. I work for Contact Energy as a Generation Technician Associate, the mechanical side of things. So I've been over, uh, here for just over three years now. Yep, just uh, done my apprenticeship and I qualified the end of last year. Yes, yeah, so I was lucky enough to get nominated for the Connexus Apprentice of the Year down in Christchurch and um, I was yeah, lucky enough to take out the award. It was a good feeling, alright? Yeah, I think this is me. Yeah, I really like what we're doing and there's still a lot of stuff out there that I need to get around and do, but for now, this is yep, sort of like. Kia ora, my name is Putty Steedman. I work for Industrial Site Services. I come here as a confined space safety watch. We like to make sure that the dads and mums and, you know, everyone on site gets to go home safe, and a confined space is potentially one of the most hazardous places to work in. I am Abby Dean and my job is as a, officially as a geothermal geochemist which really just means that I look at the chemistry of hot water and steam. The part that I'm most passionate about is the below ground stuff. So that's looking at a geothermal resource um, as a whole. The geothermal power station that is Wairaki uh, will be 60 years old next year and um, it's one of the largest geothermal fields in the world and I want to make sure that contact and energy companies develop those resources uh, in a sustainable, manageable way so they are here for another thousand years. Hey, I'm Anita Hope. Um, I'm a mechanical fitter for Contact Energy so I work on uh, mostly power turbines and every system that works with them. So this is my little spot and um, I love my job. We started on the lathe um, Back in, back in like teeth and stuff and that's where we all kind of learn how to machine. Yeah. But when I went to AIE, I started on it for a bit but they found that I was better on the milling machine so I quite enjoyed it. I've finished my electrical apprenticeship um, and in that I became a registered electrician and now I'm training and studying to be an instrument tech. I've enjoyed working here, there's so many opportunities that you can take. I stepped into an environment where you're working with guys who are more than happy to go spend that little bit more to go through with you, help you learn, um, especially when you come into a place like this. There's a lot of things you don't know, I mean you come in really green, so um, the help that I've received and also Jess from the guys down here has been really good. Yep. Here, in a company like this, you walk into an environment where um, everyone's very safety conscious and it's a good thing. I looked at uni and thought, no, nah, there's no way. I hated high school, there was no way I was going to sit in a lecture hall. I've been paid to train. The stuff I work on is, is, you know, pretty amazing. You've got to appreciate it. And where it can take me will be pretty endless, really, as far as I want to go. I would recommend that um, you go to your careers advisor and you talk to them about doing work experience. When I first looked at being a fitter and turner, I, I did think, you know, I'm good with my hands, I like engineering, um, I like technical drawing, um, and the money's good. You know, I used to think, you know, the money's cool and, I can, and it, can, it can take me all over the world. So that was one of the things that I, I thought, um, if I had a trade, it would just open up a whole new world to me, and it has. My electrical apprenticeship was three years, so 
three years of interesting, exciting work. I mean, you're being paid to learn and to work at the same time, so you're gaining life experience and a good skill, and it's something you can always come back to. You can, you can go off and do whatever you want, and you've always got that electrical trade. I'm a plant operator, and it's such a rewarding job. I love making these machines spin and helping with fault finding and troubleshooting when stuff won't go. It's a really important part of putting electricity on the grid for New Zealand. A trade is really just a starting point. It's really just the foundation for the rest of your career. Um, what I love about this is Contact actually sees me as an investment, um, an investment in the future of the plant. I'm going to be looking after these machines for a really long time. If you think a career in this industry is a possibility for you, talk to your careers advisor. Check out the Gateway program. Try enrolling with a pre-trade course at one of your local polytechs and see where it takes you. When I rock up at my six-year-old school to change light bulbs or fix a heater, he is he beams with pride when he sees me in my overalls and my tool belt um, and that's quite a, quite a cool feeling.